Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu, dear viewers from around the world. Welcome to another new and exciting episode of Islamic Jeopardy. I am your host, Ali Ahmed. With us, we have the three teams Muhajirun, Ansar, and Darus Salam. With Muhajirun, we have this lovely brother. Please go ahead and introduce yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. My name is Hussam. I'm 23 years old. I'm from, Ine from Indonesia. And I'm, I'm here to study in Al Azhar University. Very Thank good, you. mashallah. Welcome to the show. Thank you. And with the group of Ansar, we have this lovely brother all the way from the States. Please introduce yourself. I'm Brother Omar Abdullah Dubois. I'm 31 years old and I'm studying the Arabic language in Egypt, alhamdulillah. Mashallah. Welcome, brother. And sure. from Darus Salam, we have this lovely brother. Please go ahead and introduce yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. I am Afiat Fahma. I am Indonesian. I am studying here at Unif uh, Al Azhar University. I am 20, 20 years old. MashaAllah. Welcome to the show. And I would like to introduce our audience. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you very much for being here with us in this exciting Islamic uh, jeopardy. All right. And we have the points with us, Muhajirun. We have 8,800 points, mashallah. And with Ansar, we have 11,700 points. And Darus Salam, we have 14,500 points, mashallah. And we have brand new categories for this episode of Islamic Jeopardy. They are Aqeedah, Islamic Belief, Prayer, Salah, Paradise or Jannah, Prophets of Allah, Muslim World, and Muslim Superstars. Mm -hmm. And since Darul Salam has the most amount of points, we would go ahead and begin with Darul Salam. Brother Afia, please go ahead and cho uh, choose the first question. Okay. I'll begin with uh, categ Salah category. Okay. For 300. Salah for 300. This is the first salah performed when the day starts in Islam. Mm. Maghrib. Very good, mashallah. What is Salatul Maghrib? Because we know that in the Muslim Islamic uh, day, mm -hmm. the day starts not in Fajr. But it starts after sunset. Very good. Go ahead and choose the second question. Uh, Prophet of Allah. Okay. For 200. Prophets of Allah for 200. This prophet was the most beautiful prophet. Mm. Yusuf alayhi salam. Very good, mashallah. Who is mm. Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam? Mm. All right. I'll continue with Prophet Allah uh, okay. at, uh, for 300. Prophets of Allah for 300. This Prophet told Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to ask Allah to reduce our prayers from 50 to 5. Musa alayhi salam. Very good, mashaAllah. Who is Prophet Musa alayhi salam? Okay. Very good. And a Muslim world at uh, for 200. Muslim world for 200. This city is known as the city of 1,000 minarets. Mm -hmm. yes. 
Cairo. Very good. <laughs> All right. And you're studying in Cairo, Azhar University, Azhar. which is in Cairo. So, so you knew this, mashallah. Yeah. <laughs> what is Cairo? Very good. <laughs> mashallah. Uh, we will try to for salah prayer for 500. Okay. Uh, salah for 500. Yes. This was when Salah was first made obligatory. Isra mm Mirat -hmm. at uh, for about this was the year mm -hmm. when when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave salah to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Twelfth of his uh, Prophet prophethood? Him? No, unfortunately that is not mm -hmm. the correct answer, but that's a very good mm -hmm. guess. Like to go to Brother Hussam with Muhajirun. This was when Salah was first made fard or obligatory. I guess ninth. Okay, very good. Nine years after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam became Marcom. a prophet. Very good. <laughs> Brother Hussam from Muhajirun. I'll take uh, 300 for Paris Jannah. 300 for? Paradise. Paradise. Name the four rivers in Jannah. Uh, honey. Okay. Wine. All right. Milk. And um, uh, honey, milk, wine, and... I know you can do it. It's almost there, I know. Yeah. Milk, wine, honey, and we have <laughs> I forgot this one. Okay, no problem, inshallah. But that's, so far, you gave away three out of four, which is very good. We'll go to Brother Omar <laughs> from Ansar. I want to take a guess. Uh, sure. Milk, honey, wine, and misk. And? Misk. Misk. No, misk ah. is not the correct answer. <laughs> no problem. Darus Salaam, Brother Afia. Water. Water. Very good, mashallah. <laughs> We can't live without water in yeah. this world. We got water, we got wine, we got milk, and we got honey. Very good. But remember, the wine that we have in Jannah are not the type of wine that will be intoxicant. It will be very pure wine that does not intoxicate the mind or the body. Very good, Brother Afi with Darus Salaam. Uh, then I'll begin with Aqidah for uh, 100. Aqidah or Islamic belief for 100. This is the actual meaning of the kalima or the shahadatain. Mm. Uh, I think no cult should be uh, worshipped save Allah. Okay. Very good, and? And um, Muhammad is his messenger and his prophet. Very good, MashaAllah. There is none worthy of worship except Allah. And Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. This is the most correct and this is the actual meaning of the shahadatain. Mm -hmm. We do not say that there is no God but God. And we do not say that there is no God but Allah, but the correct uh, translation is there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. And this is where the emphasis need to be shown, that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. Mm -hmm. And why is this? That is because in the time of the Prophet wasallam, he came to invite the mushrikeen to worship only one Allah because they believed in Allah as a God 
but they did not believe that he is the only one worthy of worship. Okay, very good, Brother Afia. Okay, I'll continue with the same category. All right. With, uh, for 400. Aqidah for 400. This and this can increase our life and sustenance. What are the two things that the Prophet Sallallahu told us? That if you were to do this or this, it will increase your life. Mm. Like kindness. Huh? Kindness. Okay. And also, one or one more. Uh, honest. Honesty? Huh? Okay, unfortunately that is not the correct answer, but you know what? You're on the right track. We'll go to Brother Hussam from Muhajirun. Uh, prayer, dua. Okay, dua and, and kindness. Kindness, mm -hmm. very good. What is dua and kindness to your relatives? Mm -hmm. Because dua has such an effect that it can change your qadr. And if you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase your life, it will increase your life. Mm -hmm. and, and kindness to your relatives and your family will do the same thing. Very good, brother. Hussam from Muhajirun, go ahead and choose the next question. Um, I'll choose 300 uh, from Aqidah. Aqidah for 300. Yes. Is both good and evil from Allah? No, good from Allah and evil from ourselves. Very good, mashallah. Only good is from Allah and evil is from our actions. That is very good, Brother Hassan. I'll take um, 400 paradise, Jannah. Paradise for 400. This is the woman who asked Allah for a house in Jannah as mentioned in the Quran. But before you answer this question, we would like to take a short break. So please stay with us and we'll be right back. To my Lord, Allah, praise Him every day. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "The sa'im عند فطره دعوة لا ترد." For every fasting person, at the time of breaking your fast, Allah is giving you this virtue. Make Dua, unity, or oh, the disunity pertaining the moon citation. This is a matter that has been grown up with the Ummah since the beginning, whether Ittihad al Matali' or Ikhtilaf al Matali'. And these are two different schools of thoughts, and both of them are respected. Uh, for a woman or a man, in either way, Islam, what does Islam say the correct way to observe Ittikaf? When, when should the intention be made and how did the Prophet's wife perform this? That's i'tikaf and we're just uh, a few days away from Ramadan. I'tikaf is a recommended tradition by the Prophet The main idea behind i'tikaf because the Prophet used to spend the whole time in the masjid day and night hoping that one of those nights will be the night of Al Qadr. Allah is my heart's speech. Your mercy is what I beseech. Keep in my heart your praise be to my Lord. Allah, praise Him every Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Dear viewers, welcome back to the second segment of Islamic Jeopardy. The question we asked Brother Hussam from Muhajirun was, this is the woman who asked Allah for a house in Jannah as mentioned in the Quran. Hmm. She was Asiya, wife of Firaun. Very good, mashallah. Who was Asiya, the wife of Fir'aun, she asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make for her a house in Jannah and to save her from 
Fir'aun and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered her dua and she will have a house in Jannah. Very good, Brother Hassan. I'll pick um, 300 Muslim words. Okay, Muslim world for 300. Known as the Golden Age, Muslims excelled in these fields. And please mention at least three. Uh, can you explain it? Okay. In the Golden Age of Islam, the Muslims, they advanced in many fields. Yes. Okay, in many fields of science. So please mention for us at least three. Astronomy, okay. geography, and um, physic and mathematic. Okay, very good, mashallah. The, the Muslims in the time of the golden age, they excelled in medicine, in astronomy, in mathematics, in physics, in geography and in chemistry as well as countless and numerous other sciences that because of them we are able to live a comfortable life right now. Very good brother Hassan. I'll pick um, 500 uh, Aqidah. Aqidah for 500. You will go to Jannah if your last Words are La ilaha illallah. Very good, mashaAllah. What is La ilaha illallah? There is none worthy of worship except Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make our end in this world with this kalima. Very good, Brother Hassan. Uh, I'll pick 200 Muslim superstars. Muslim superstars for 200. He retired in 2010 from professional basketball and accepted Islam and went for Hajj in 2010. I guess. Sure. His Jordan. Michael Jordan? No, we ask Allah to guide him to Islam, but that is a very good guess. Brother Umar from Ansar. He retired in 2010? Yes. From the NBA. I will say this is Shaquille O'Neal. Very good, MashaAllah. Who yeah. is Shaquille O'Neal? Very good. You're good. <laughs> MashaAllah. You're All right, yeah. Brother Umar. Um, um, I will do... Uh, give me Muslim superstars for 300. Muslim superstars for 300. He is considered one of the greatest centers ever to play in the NBA. And remember, this falls under Muslim superstars. Hakeem Olajuwon. Very good, mashallah. Who is Hakeem Olajuwon? No. And he used to play for who? Yeah. For? Yeah, for Houston. For Houston Rockets. Very good. Mm. Umar. Muslim superstars for uh, 400. Muslim superstars for 400. He was a former member of Tupac's rap group Outlaws but accepted Islam and is now a youth motivational speaker. This is Muta. Muta. Yeah, he was known as Napoleon. Right? Very good. Who was Napoleon outlaw or now his name is Muta Bill. Very good, mashallah. Mashallah. Umar. We'll stay in the same category. Hit the All 500. Right. All right, Muslim superstars yeah. for 500. He conquered India during the Khilafah of the Umayyad. At the so, age uh, of 17, only at the age of 17, he conquered all of India. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I'm going to have to sure pass it. I'm sure it is. You're a smart uh, person. Mashallah, you've gotten most of them right so far. 17. Uh -huh. Spit it out. Uh, stop for Allah. I'm going to have to pass it. You're going to have to pass? Much time, man. Unfortunately, Unfortunately. But that was a very yeah. good try on your pass. I just need 
to have the other name. You said Muhammad, no. but we need to know which Muhammad. We would go to Darus Salam for the Afia. Uh, I guess uh, Umar bin Abdul Aziz. Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. No, but that's a very good guess. Brother Hussam from Muhajirun. Uh, can I take a guess? I mean, a random okay. name? No problem, inshallah. <laughs> Who was Muhammad bin Qasim Rahimahullah? Okay? Very good for everyone trying. We'll go back to Brother Umar. Might as well get the Muslim superstars for 100. All right, Muslim superstars for 100. <laughs> he was known as Cassius Clay and sportsman of the century. Muhammad Ali. All right. And what is that famous saying? Fly like a butterfly, sting, sting like, like a bee. bee. All right, mashallah, very good. Who is Muhammad Ali? So let's get uh, Aqeedah for 200. for 200. Many of the Muslims deviated from Islam due to negation or distortion of this type of Tawheed. Asma wa Sifat. Very good. What is Tawheed? Asma wa Sifat or the names and Shalom. attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm -hmm. So we make sure we pay special attention, dear viewers, dear audience, to this Tawheed because many groups of the Muslims, they deviated because of not specializing or not learning enough about Tawheed, Asma, wa Sifat. Very good, Brother Umar. Hmm. Prophets of Allah for, let's go with 500. Prophets of Allah for 500. You don't mess around, brother. <laughs> this was the prophet that had the most beautiful voice. Dawood, alayhi salam. Very good, mashallah. Who was Prophet Dawood, alayhi salam? Prophets of Allah for 400. Prophets of Allah for 400. This prophet was able to communicate with all the creations of Allah. This was Suleiman alayhi salam. All right. Who is Prophet Suleiman <laughs> alayhi salam? Very good, mashallah. We might as well get this category, Prophets of Allah for 100. All right. Prophets of Allah for 100. This is the prophet that is mentioned in the Qur'an only once. Hmm. This is the prophet of Allah that is mentioned in the Qur'an only once. Only once. Prophet Uzair. Very good, mashallah. Who is Prophet Uzair? Brother Omar. Hmm. Let's go for Paradise and Jannah, uh, 500. Paradise for 500. This is the gate to Paradise which admits only those who fast. This is the name of this gate in Jannah. And it admits only those who used to fast. Only those that used to fast. Yes. This is one I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem, inshallah. We would like to go to Brother Hassan from Muhajirun. Um, is it Rayyan? Very good, mashallah. <laughs> what is a Rayyan? <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brother Hassan. I'll take the last. 500. Okay. Uh, Muslim world for 500? Yes. All right. These two hills are where Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam left his wife Hajar and son Ismail. Safa. Okay. What are the two names of the Marwa. two? Safa and? Marwa. Marwa. Very good, <laughs> mashallah. What is yeah. Al-Safa and Al-Marwa Al for 500 points? Yeah. All right, Hussam. All right. Uh, I'll pick mm, Muslim word for 400. Muslim world for 400. This is where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam led all the other prophets in prayer. And this was before he met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Isra wal Mi'raj. Uh, this is where he led them in prayer. Can you explain it? Okay. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah took him from Masjid al-Haram to this particular masjid, okay, in the night time, 
and he went and he led all the other prophets in salah. Uh, can I have a minute? I mean, uh, seconds? Sure. Um, this is where the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam led all the other prophets oh in prayer. I mean, I should name a masjid or yeah. name the masjid or name the city. Al Aqsa. Very good, mashallah. <laughs> what is Masjid Al -Aqsa. Aqsa? Very good, dear viewers. Jazakallahu khairan for viewing us in this episode of Islamic Jeopardy. We hope to have you with us next time. Bi idnillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Praise be to Allah, Allah, praise Him every day. Praise be to Allah, Allah, praise Him every day. In the morning, praise in the evening, praise Praise Him every day When you're lost Praise When you're lonely Praise Him Praise Him every day Say Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar God is great Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, God is great.